Hey, I'm Adam Jusko from ProudMoney.com. In this video, we're going to look at the American Express Blue Cash Everyday Card versus the Blue Cash Preferred Card. Before we do, I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not already. And if you have already, I thank you for doing so. So the Blue Cash Everyday Card recently got an upgrade, so it's time for an updated look at that card versus its sister card, the Blue Cash Preferred, if you're trying to make a decision between the two. Now, both of these are cash back cards. American Express has its membership rewards program that some people are very interested in, a points program. These two cards, not part of that program at all, just pure cash back and you get your cash back as a statement credit, meaning it is going to go against the balances that you would have on either of these cards if you had them. So it's going to lower the balance on your card, but you're not going to get any points and membership rewards. So make sure you understand that straight out. Now, if you're just getting to know these cards, the first thing that might jump out at you is that one of them, the Blue Cash Every Day, has no annual fee, and the other, the Blue Cash Preferred, has a $95 annual fee. So can that Blue Cash Preferred justify that $95 annual fee, not only in terms of the rewards covering $95 that you might pay for the year, but is it going to give you so much more in rewards that you would actually do better with that card than with the Blue Cash Every Day? That is what we are going to figure out here. Now, whenever I do a video where I'm comparing two cards, I am sort of acting as if they are, you know, one versus the other, but oftentimes you might want to think about getting both of the cards. And in this case, that is also true, even though they are both somewhat similar because there also are enough differences between them that maybe you would get the blue cash preferred and be willing to pay its $95 annual fee. But down the road, you still might want to get the blue cash every day. And we'll talk about that as we go along. All right, let's start with the blue cash preferred $95 annual fee. In terms of rewards, you're getting 6% cash back on purchases at US supermarkets and up to $6,000 per year. On those purchases beyond $6,000, you would revert to 1% cash back on those purchases. Note that US supermarkets includes what you would think of as the traditional supermarket does not include super stores or things that have groceries, but also do a lot of other things. So that means no Walmart, no Target, no warehouse clubs, any of those kind of things. So sort of your traditional supermarkets is what you're looking at here. So if you only get, do your grocery shopping at Walmart, this is not going to be for you. You get 6% cash back on most streaming services. So your things like Netflix, Hulu, uh, YouTube TV, Spotify, Apple TV, or Apple Music, and most of the other ones that you might think of, you're going to get 6% back on. You're going to get 3% back at U.S. gas stations. Again, this is going to be places where gas is their main thing, not places where gas is sold as sort of an adjunct to other things that they do. You're going to get 3% back on transit purchases, which includes things like Uber and Lyft, taxis, parking, trains and buses, all of that kind of stuff. And then you're going to get 1% back on everything else. And your potential bonus for new card holders is going to be a little bit bigger on the Blue Cash Preferred. As I make this video, I am seeing a $350 bonus opportunity if you spend $3,000 with the card in the first few months. These bonuses change all the time, so depending on when you're watching this video, you may see something different. Now, if you're trying to decide between the two cards, it is probably the rewards and the annual fee or lack thereof that you're going to look at as the deciding factors, but there are some other things you might consider about each card. On the Blue Cash Preferred side, you've got a 0% offer for the first 12 months or first 12 billing cycles on new purchases you make with the card. So if you decide to carry a balance from month to month during that first year or so, you're not going to get charged any interest. You have a couple of potential credits on this card, one of them for the Disney bundle, which is Disney Plus, ESPN Plus, and Hulu. You could get $7 back each month if you pay with the card and you're paying at least $13.99 $13 for that bundle. There is an Equinox credit of 10 bucks or up to 10 bucks per month if you are paying for Equinox. With this card, you have some uh, car rental damage and loss insurance. If you use the card to pay for your car rental that you could use, you've got return protection and some other things that are a little cloudy in terms of what they actually do for you. But mostly you're going to look at this card as well as the other one in terms of what are those rewards you're getting. All right, now let's talk blue cash every day. No annual fee, but fewer rewards. You're going to get three 
3% cash back on your U.S. supermarket purchases versus 6% with the Blue Cash Preferred, and that's on up to $6,000 per year in U.S. supermarket purchases, 1% on purchases beyond $6,000 per year, 3% at U.S. gas stations, again, on up to $6,000 per year on those gas purchases. You get 1% if you happen to go beyond $6,000 in gas purchases. You've got 3% on online retail purchases, U.S. online retail purchases, again, on up to $6,000 per year, 1% beyond that. The online retail purchases, a different category that you don't see on the Blue Cash Preferred, and then you're going to have 1% back on other purchases with the card. The bonus opportunity on this card, at least as I make this video, always make sure to check those bonuses when you actually apply. I'm seeing a $200 bonus if you spend $2,000 in the first six months of having the card. And then in terms of the other features with the Blue Cash every day, you have some similarities and some differences with the Blue Cash Preferred. 0% offer on this card is for 15 months and it is for purchases and balance transfer. So if you transfer a balance from another card onto this one, that could sit on this card for 15 months at a 0% interest rate. There is a balance transfer fee of 3% though, and that happens up front, 3% of the amount that you would transfer onto the card. You have the same Disney bundle credit of potentially $7 per month. You do not have the Equinox credit we talked about, but you do have a uh, $15 potentially per month Home Chef credit if you pay for Home Chef meal delivery. Uh, with the card, you have the same car rental damage and loss insurance with this card. You don't have the return protection. So a little bit of difference there, but probably nothing that is going to be a deal breaker with either card on some of these extras. All right, so those are the details. Now, how do you make a decision between the two cards? Well, really, even though there's a lot of different stuff going on, it's that U.S. supermarket category that is really going to be the clincher for most people. If you spend a lot at supermarkets, well, then the Blue Cash Preferred is probably going to be the better choice, even with its $95 annual fee. If you don't spend very much at supermarkets, well, then probably the Blue Cash every day would be the choice. Now, what is a lot at supermarkets and what is not very much? Well, $3,200 per year is sort of the uh, break-even line, you might say, between the two cards. If you spend $3,200 at supermarkets with the Blue Cash Preferred card at 6% cash back, you earn $192. Even if we forgot about everything else that these cards are offering in terms of rewards, you take $192, you subtract that $95 annual fee, that's $97 in net rewards. If you look at the Blue Cash every day, it has no annual fee, but it only gives you 3% cash back on those supermarket purchases, well, on $3,200 per year, you would get $96. So you would be $1 ahead at $3,200 per year when you compared the Blue Cash Preferred to the Blue Cash Everyday card. So sort of a wash at that point, but the further you get above $3,200 per year, which is about $60 per week, well, the more the Blue Cash Preferred is going to make sense. Plus it has those other categories that are going beyond the blue cash every day, the 6% on streaming, the 3% on gas, the 3% on transit. So that would probably be your choice if you're gonna spend a lot at US supermarkets. Now, the blue cash every day card, if you are someone that doesn't spend very much at supermarkets, but you still wanted an expanded reward on them, well, then it could still be a good choice. You're still getting 3% there, you're still getting 3% on gas, and you have 3% on that online retail category, which is something the blue cash preferred card Card is not offering. It is something that is not offered by many other card issuers in the U.S. either. So it is sort of a unique category and sort of a smart category that American Express added because it not only sort of differentiates from the market, but it differentiates from the Blue Cash Preferred. And earlier I said that maybe over the long haul, you might want to actually get both of these cards. So if you were going to go over that $3,200 in uh, supermarket purchases, maybe you'd get the Blue Cash Preferred, but you still might want to get to the Blue Cash Everyday card in the long run in order to get the 3% on those online purchases. So you could make the case that both of them are the right choice, but in terms of deciding what to get today, 
If you're gonna spend a lot at the supermarket, well then go for the blue cash preferred. If you're gonna be spending less, then go for the blue cash every day. All right, that was kind of a mouthful, but luckily for you, the video is over. So hopefully you have the information you need to decide between these two cards. If there's something I've left out or something that you don't understand, please ask me or tell me in the comments section below. Otherwise, I thank you for watching. And as always, please go to prodmoney.com where we do credit card reviews and we talk personal finance and we talk deals and all sorts of other fun stuff too. If you're not gonna leave a comment or you're not gonna go check out the website, maybe you'll wanna watch this video.